This is uh, Long Ashes, CrapBeer.com, and with me as always is Punch. Punch it up. And Nubs. What's going on? And uh, this week's beer that we're reviewing is the Bach Beer. It's by Rivertown Brewing Company, and uh, we've had a, a, a past with Rivertown Brewing Company a little bit with our previous review. Uh, got some death threats and a few other uh, things that, you know, wasn't too nice because we didn't like the beer, and I guess we were stupid and didn't know what we are talking about, but we won't get into that. Uh, we're going to try it again, and hopefully this is a good one this time. You know, we're not dissing the brewery at all, ever, at, you know, ever on any of the reviews we do. We're just trying to beer out and seeing if we like it or not. But uh, this is a Bach beer, like I said. Uh, it's a lager. There's not much information online. I'll just read off what they have on the bottle and what it says online real quick. And then we'll just go into sampling the, the beer. It says, Rivertown Brewing Company's Bach beer is a seasonal lager. It's big and full-bodied beer with lots of caramel, malt flavor, and spicy hop notes. The Bach beer is a great way to welcome the coming of spring, and it's best served at 48 degrees Fahrenheit in a brandy glass. I don't know if this is at 48 degrees Fahrenheit, but I definitely don't have a brandy glass, so I guess we're having a couple strikes against this already. What are you going <laughs> to <Yeah>. do? <laughs> And do you guys get any smell from the... What I'm getting is, it's kind of like... I definitely smell the hops. You yeah. know how you get like a like a beer like right off the tap? Yeah. It's got that fresh tap beer mm. smell. Yeah, I feel you on that one. It yeah. smells, smells, pretty smells good. really good. Definitely pick up the hops on that. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Classic beer smell. All right, we're going to zoom in on this and uh, pour the beer and see what... See what it looks like on the pour and see what it smells like and then give it a drink. All right, we're going to do the pour now. Kind of a weird bottle, too. Uh, it looks like it's pouring out of uh, a very copper color. Definitely uh, copper, maybe a little bit on the uh, gold. Uh, as it hits the glass, it turns more into a, a, like a brown amber color. Very, very thin beer, not very thick. Uh, lots of carbonation, no head on mine anyway. Yeah, very little head on very mine. Yeah. It's got almost a reddish color in the glass. Yeah, like an amber color. Mm -hmm. But you know that, that's the beer. I'll go ahead and zoom out here. All right, we did the pour. Now we're just gonna go ahead and give it a smell here and see what our sniffers pick up on this. Mm, that smells good. Hmm. I do smell the caramel on that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it has a really good aroma to it. It almost has a uh, whiskey, like a, or no, actually, it's more like a, a Captain Captain Morgan's smell to it. Almost. Yeah, like a vanilla yeah. rum, spiced rum, like a liquor smell to yeah. it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm feeling that. Yeah, I'm thinking yeah, that, that too. Mm. That smells really good. Yeah, the, right away, uh, you know. A good review on the aroma and the overall appearance of, of, of the uh, bottle and and uh, the beer itself. Though uh, the purple label on the bottle made me think that this was going to be like some kind of great drink or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it wasn't, but it was like kind of weird. And like, what the hell? There's one thing I got to mention. Uh, I went to go. Well, actually, Punch went to go open his beer up, and he had already, you know. Popped it off with his with his bottle popper, and I just grabbed it. and I was like, "Hell, oh, it's a twist top." So these are twist tops. Yeah, that's a little odd, but yeah. it kind of you don't see that it. too often in craft beer. No, no, not really. But but let's give it a try. Yeah. All right. Cheers. 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 Pretty good. It's pretty tasty, yeah. So uh, not really bitter at all, and uh, I'm really picking up on that caramel flavor. That caramel and that. Mm, yeah, that's good. It does have a almost a spice rum taste to me, I think, which is kind of different, you know, for a beer. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I pick up the caramel, a little bit of vanilla, some spice, mm -hmm. and uh, definitely picking up the alcohol on this too. I, I think this might be a slightly stronger beer. I'm all right unfortunately, with that. <laughs> unfortunately, uh, we can't. Uh, there's no information. 
Yeah. On uh, the beer uh, ABV or uh, IBU units or anything. So, unfortunately, we can't report on that, but... I could drink the rest of them and see just how drunk I get. <laughs> yeah. Start hammering uh, back. about a 7% on the drunk scale. Yep. <laughs> I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm really digging this. That is really tasty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like it. Uh, how much was this? Six pack? It was uh eight eight forty nine for the six pack. Eight forty nine, it's not bad. I wish I knew a little bit more about it, but yeah, I mean it, it tastes great. Not a lot of about it. Yeah, it tastes really good. Yeah, I bet I bet it probably would taste pretty good in a brandy glass. It seems like the the flavor of it almost seems fitting to be in a brandy glass. Mm. So I could I could see that. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, really really good flavor, really good aroma, nice appearance to it overall. Uh, eight forty nine a six pack. I guess that's not. Too bad either for something like this. No, it's not too bad. Uh, even though this was a new beer to me and and I haven't really drank it before this, I guess I'll go ahead and give it a uh, holy grail. Yeah, I'm digging. Yeah. I'm digging it a lot. You know, it's that that bitter you know flavor in the beer. You know, it's got good hops. It's, just, it's different Full flavor. Mm -hmm. You know, it's and different. It's not your standard hoppy beer. You know, it's like. It's got that extra stuff to it. Right. Mm -hmm. It just kind of adds to it. So, I'm going to go uh, Holy Grail. I'll we'll make that three because, uh, yeah, I buy this again. And, yeah, I mean, I'm, look, I'm looking for a beer to celebrate my birthday here in a couple of weeks. And I wouldn't – this is a good one. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, it doesn't get much better than this. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. And it has a different style to it, too, I think. Yeah, yeah. It's, I'm mm -hmm. definitely digging this. Yep. Just pick it up at your, you know, local, local uh, Kroger store. You know, that's yeah. where I, where I picked it up. And your local grocery store. It, this is a local brewery, though, so mm -hmm. you might not be able to get it where you're at. This is a Cincinnati brewery. And do you know but, if uh, they uh, sell it online? No, they don't. That's a shame. I don't know if you can really sell alcohol online. There Good are point. some places, but <laughs> <laughs> I Good think point, there's like yeah. some laws against that. But, yeah, maybe you know. But uh, well, if you're not uh, lucky enough to live around uh, the Cincinnati area, then sorry, but this is a really good beer, if you, if you yeah. do. Hey, if you want, ever want to do a trade of any kind of any beer, uh, you want to trade some uh, local breweries in your area, we'll get some local breweries in ours and we'll, we'll mail them to you. That's we'll, not a bad idea. Yeah, we'll do a ship trade oh, so yeah. we can try out different local breweries. So, uh, Just send us an email at crapbeer2 at gmail.com and I'll put it down at the bottom there. And... Uh, yeah, just contact us and we'll give you our address and we'll, we'll ship something out to you as well if you have any uh, requests. We got Great Lakes, we got Rivertown, so there's a few different choices there. So that's about it. Holy Grail, really good beer. Mm -hmm. This is Long Ashes, Punch, and Dubs, and uh, we're going to continue to search for the Holy Grail of Ale. <laughs>